Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Trillium. This is their Launch Pale Ale, uh, Launch Beer Pale Ale. It's a Citra Mosaic Hopped Pale Ale with a little bit of Columbus. Comes in at 5.7%. Just picked this up at the brewery. Um, they, uh, it's Launch Beer obviously because they opened up their Canton location. So basically outside of Boston that they now have a large brewing facility and you can both pick up bottles and growlers at the Four Point location, the original location and the Canton location. Uh, again, Trillium was awesome. It's always impressive how much beer you can get there. <laughs> I believe when I was there, if you wanted to get every single beer there, you could probably get, uh, I wanna say somewhere around 10 cases plus growler fills, like 10 cases of beer, uh, which is insane for a world-class brewery. Uh, we know the limits at uh, Treehouse. Then again, Hill Farmstead has unlimited limits. So uh, Trillium's uh, following with that because they've expanded production hugely. So awesome stuff. Now they had two open spaces. Uh, looking forward to this beer. Never tried it. So there you go. Uh, haven't vid uh, visited the Canton location. Uh, it was convenient for me to go to the original location. So um, yeah, let's dig in. So that uh, signature uh, Trillium color, it's a, probably a little less uh, straw and hazy as some of their other beers, but this really wonderful kind of um, uh, light golden color, uh, but very hazy, this kind of a, yeah, just really vibrant gold color. Let's get it on this. Oh, wow. They say they smell honeysuckle and passion fruit. I can certainly smell a little bit of that, like, um, herbaceous quality and uh, definitely tons of uh, like a little bit of passion fruit, but it's more like stone fruit to me, a little bit more like, um, yeah, uh, ripe apricot, like fuzzy, a little bit of fuzzy peach, um, but definitely like a big like herbaceous dankness on the, on the back end. You really get that aggressive um, mosaic quality and the mosaic on the dank side. So definitely that kind of big dankness. Grassy, herbaceous, green. But yeah, also like um, hints of tropical fruit as well. Cheers. Mm. They're right on the descriptor on the website that they describe it as a really nice clean Pilsner malt. Really clean palette. Oh, wow. Up front, they call it stone fruit and citrus. I can certainly see that. I can see this kind of like apricot flavor popping out very wonderfully. Sweet apricot. You also get a kind of um, orangey kind of flavor. A light, you know, orange drink kind of flavor. Look very, not too juicy, just kind of like hints of like orange zest and light kind of orange drink kind of thing. Really wonderful kind of like doughy malt in the middle. Really wonderful Pilsner malt kind of flavor. A nice pillowy mouthfeel. Hints of this kind of sweetness balancing out the beer very nicely. Not really bitter at all, really nice and dry. Onto more of that kind of uh, herbaceous quality that I was smelling, a little bit of grassiness, more of that kind of like green herbal kind of flavor. Very drinkable beer, yeah. Love that balance of the upfront kind of tropical um, apricot kind of flavor. Stone fruit really predominating. A little bit of doughiness, hints of sweetness coming through under that doughiness, and then nice and dry in the finish, lingering with that kind of dry, herbaceous kind of quality. Uh, well balanced beer, another knock, um, killer beer from uh, Trillium. Uh, really wonderful. That's for rating. I mean, it is, you know, exactly Trillium. It does it very well. It's nothing too mind blowing. Uh, but it's su super balanced, super clean, super drinkable, super New England, um, you know, barely any sweetness, nice kind of fruit flavors up front, uh, really balanced beer, really enjoying this one. Wow. As I drink it more, I'm really loving that kind of hint of sweetness and the balance with that kind of stone fruit flavor and the hints of citrus. Um, as for rating, I can drink a lot. <laughs> this is very fantastic. Let's go with a, mm, as I drink it more, I'm really loving that. It pushes more and more up front. You're getting even more kind of like apricot, hints of dried mango, a little bit more of like passion fruit, leaning towards that kind of like intense, juicy tropical thing. Um, I'm leaning on a 96 plus on this one. Sure.
killer stuff 96 plus until next time guys cheers another killer beer from um trillium this is launch beer uh congrats to trillium for um you know your new canton location uh thank you so much for this one until next time guys cheers later